This is Christopher Davis with the Sanford News Network. Right now, I'm standing right in front of Brock Forum where a controversial topic is being discussed by legal professionals and different professors. Sanford students who are a part of an organization on campus called Amnesty International had to go through a few steps in order for the death penalty panel to be possible. Um, well, this event has actually been in planning for about an entire semester now. We were wanting to do um, kind of a focus on the death penalty. So to put together an organization like this, or an event like this, you have to do several things within the bureaucracy at Sanford. Um, there are the things that obviously one thinks about, like um, requesting people to be your panelists and um, making sure you can get the room, and you do that through a process of R25. I would say that the most effort that we've put into this event would be in publicity, in making it, first of all, a convo event, which you go through university ministries to do that, um, making signs and posters, and, and also um, we had trifolds in the calf, and that was something new that we did. And I think um, through all of this, our event got a lot of exposure, so a lot of effort went into time. Many legal professionals and professors do not like the death penalty, for the many flaws it has in its process. You know, I think the process is flawed for any number of reasons. One, there's not sufficient money in the process to provide for adequate representation. Two, we're dealing with sort of the human side of the process, so there is sort of inherent discrimination against poor and minorities in the process. Uh, and then there are these legal barriers that exist which feed back into the representation issue. So I think the system is just inherently unfair the way it's constructed. We will see if the death penalty stays, improves, or gets abolished. For SNN, I'm Chris Davis.